Hey everyone, it is Saturday, September 10th. The time is 3.16 p.m. and right now it's about 26 degrees Celsius. There's some interesting looking vehicles. And this is Young Street and that is Dundas Square. Where a Princess Margaret Walk to concert, Conquer Cancer is just wrapping up. That's a 20 kilometer walk that each of the participants tried to finish. And I just recorded a walk that finished up at the Celebrate Toronto Festival at City Hall. And for some reason I found myself back in the Young and Dundas area. There's an entrance to the Eaton Center. There's a global Jewish organization that tried to stop us from coming out here in this corner and tried to stop us because they know they are not the real Jew. Black man, you are the real Jew. Black woman, you are the real Jew. You are the Israelites. You are the chosen people of God. And they seek to stop us. And no, nobody worries about that. Christians are fine. Nobody gives a damn about that. Christian churches. Interesting times at Young and Dundas. So I think I'll head west along Dundas Street here. Maybe over to University. They had a perfect, perfect righteousness with God as they walked at the beginning, but we're seeing it today. At that moment, at that very moment. And then maybe at University, I'll head south down into the Entertainment District. And I'll take. That's pretty loud. <laughs> Okay, and then I'll take Richmond over to Peter. And maybe I'll revisit the Toronto International Film Festival. When I went there the other day, it was the first day of the festival. And it was a bit early in the day and it wasn't that busy. So I'll see if I can take a quick walk through there as I make my way over to St. Andrew Station at the end of this one. So coming up is Bay Street. I'll continue west on Dundas Street, just beyond that to University, and that'll take us through the Little Tokyo area, as well as the area that was the original Toronto Chinatown. It's good to see so many people out enjoying the last days of summer here. So just to the south of here on Bay Street is City Hall and that's where you'll find the Celebrate Toronto Festival. And I'm not sure if I'll post that video before this one. If I remember to, I'll put a link to it in the description. There's the north side of City Hall, just on the right there, with the financial district off in the distance. Here's my favorite spot in this area, Don Don Izakaya. I think I mention it every time I walk by. And I've never actually
actually been to this Denny's I just walked by. There's someone on a rickshaw. A rickshaw. <laughs> that one was not battery powered. It was all pedal power on that one. And I walked up Elizabeth Street there. And I made my way back up to Dundas Square. Chestnut Street. Look. There's a number of large events taking place in the city this weekend. There's a big hip-hop festival down at Ontario Place. There's the Toronto International Film Festival. I think there's one called Asia Licious up in Scarborough. That one's held in the parking lot of a shopping mall. Which is very on-brand for a suburban area. And this is University Avenue coming up. So I'll head south here. So I'm This is Alibaba. Alibaba. Cleared it in the first attempt. If I were to continue going straight here, I'd end up walking past the Art Gallery of Ontario and into Chinatown. Looks to be a fair bit of people heading off in that direction. I don't know if YouTube would punish me if I read those signs out loud. Probably. So this is south on the east side of University Avenue, and I think tomorrow University Avenue might be closed. Or at least north of college when it's Queens Park, I think is marked as being closed. I'm not sure what the reason is. But there seems to be a number of street closures planned for tomorrow. And that might be give, might give me a reason to get out on the e-bike or the scooter tomorrow. Might be interesting to check out all the closed streets. And the subway isn't running. I think between Shepherd and St. Clair. So since I'd have to take a shuttle bus like I did on my way to this one, I would generally prefer not to do that two days in a row. 
fact, <laughs> the shuttle bus I got on today was just sitting there. It was a full double-decker bus, and it, well, lengthwise, not stacked-wise. I don't think that's the correct term. Articulated bus. And it was absolutely packed, and I kind of raced to get onto it. And then we were all sitting there, and then slowly but surely, a number of other buses came up behind us and passed us. And it turns out the driver wasn't even on the bus. They may have been making a pit stop, but either way, I think about nine or 10 buses passed us. And that cost us about 10 or 15 minutes. I wasn't really keeping track, but we started to hear a lot of restless groans from other passengers. This is Armory Street. There's the Candlelight Building. And just past the University Avenue Armories is City Hall in Nathan Phillips Square. This is Queen Street coming up, and this northeast corner of Queen and University will soon be redeveloped. I'll be shoehorning a new subway entrance. So that guy is pedaling his e-bike, just barreling towards people on the sidewalk when we've got semi-protected bike lanes on University. See, these people know where they should be. So I'll be crossing over to the southwest corner over there. accommodate the new subway stop, apparently they'll have to remove some of this fence. And there's been some controversy regarding that. Richmond Street is just a block to the south here. Maybe I'll just stick to Queen for a block or two. Thank <laughs> you. 
is Simcoe Street. All right, I'll go south at the next block. Oh, he's busy and vibrant along Queen on the weekends. Second to probably only Young Street. Although they tend to attack, attract different crowds. There's some Stone Temple pilots. Sorry, that was <laughs> the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Danny California. No idea how I misidentified that one. It's actually pretty good. Like yeah. All right, I'll go south here. At Duncan Street. And you can see some road close signs several blocks south of here. And that's at the Toronto International Film Festival. I was riding my e-bike along here last night. And right over there, there was someone kind of boldly going the wrong way in a separated bike lane on a one-way street. And Yuck Yuck's Comedy Club is just off in that direction. There's the fifth social club. That's a popular night spot in this area. And we used to be able to see right into this patio space. I think they were looking to go have some drinks there, but it's not open right now. And this is slated to be turned into a big urban park. I, I want to watch it. And here's John Street. This might look familiar. You saw that video I posted through the International Film Festival a few days ago. <laughs> and this 
is where you would queue up if you were catching a screening here at the Scotiabank Arena. Scotiabank Arena, <laughs> Scotiabank Theater. Let's take John here to Adelaide. And then I'll walk over to Peter and then down to King maybe. That's where celebs pose. Pub. I'm thinking of coming to one of these places later tonight. So John Street is closed just south of here. I don't know why I crossed the street. I was drawn in by the pubs, I guess. As far as that Hooters rooftop pub isn't slammed. There's a look along Adelaide Street. Action cam mount on his helmet. This is Peter Street coming up. There's a funky limo just south of here.
Okay, I'm going. I'm going to meet you. So, I also want to play a whole thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I think. I think you probably go on northern. My guess is you spent more time on the bus, like hopping on, rather than hopping off. Wild survival. Well, that's a very public way to have a conversation on speakerphone, yelling into your phone. Maybe the earpiece is broken. So at King Street here, I'm going to turn left. And that'll lead us into the madness. I was hoping to come here for a night walk, but I don't think I'm gonna have plans to do it, so I at least wanted to catch it while it was sort of at peak busyness. South of King, Peter becomes Blue Jays' way. We won a close game versus the Rangers last night. <laughs> Cyclists, please dismount. Seems like common sense, but I still saw a lot of people rolling through here. There's a guy with a GoPro Hero 9 on a selfie stick. I wonder if that video will end up on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, I was just walking right by all this art. On that video I posted the other day, you could see all this art, or at least some of it, in the early stages. Cool to see how it's turned out. Inventory, I guess, yeah. and it's so. That one in particular got off to a bit of a rough start, but I think the artist was just being playful. Uh, she did a phenomenal job. I think it's quite common to see celebrities it's coming out. hopping out of these Escalades and other big luxury SUVs in this area. Interesting. I wonder how much time people stand wait or spend waiting here and end up not getting a glimpse of anyone. I was reading up on this event for the other video that I recorded. I read that this is the fourth biggest festival, at least attendance wise, of its kind in the world. There's a cannabis shop in the middle of Restaurant Row. On the left here is the Tip Bell light box. And I think there's five movie theaters in that particular building, and that's where the Toronto International Film Festival head office is located. Next 
It's got James Bond starring in a non-James Bond movie. We are having a mirror moment. This was created by a Toronto-based creative studio somewhere else. I don't think this would film very well inside. Here's my chance to be on CP24. And there's a big stage to the right here, but there doesn't appear to be anything going on. All right, I'm gonna see if I can find this guy's video on YouTube. So this is John Street, and these people are lined up. I think to get into the Princess of Wales Theater, they have a screening room in there. There's that guy, almost backs into me. Yes, I didn't even walk the wall. So as far as street festivals, festivals go, it's definitely different. There's another video we might see pop up on the YouTubes. I think they call that theater the Visa Screening Room inside the Princess of Wales. Fired on now. It's interesting in that there's so many people here, but there's not so much to see and do. We've got a 360 camera set up there. There's a look north up Duncan Street. And this is the Royal Alex Theater coming up on the left. And there's another queue line for it. It's mostly girls. And on the right is David Peacott Square. And they hold nighttime screenings of different films there. I'll put a link to their website in the description. If you're curious as to what the film schedule is. The street festival only runs till Monday, but the festival itself runs till the 18th. So all these people are crushed along this fence here. Are they going to close down the street when something happens? Or are all the people on the street just going to block their view? Looking towards David Peacock Square. 
That is Roy Thompson Hall on the right. Oops, I had my camera in zoom mode. And they also screen films there. For the vertical video short attention span crowd. There's a TikTok booth. They handing out free pizza. That's a really cool promo by Pizza Nova. And this is a cool view with Roy Thompson Hall and the CN Tower off in the distance. That's pretty awesome of them. I'm almost not going to say anything bad about their pizza. <laughs> People just randomly stopping in the street. Interesting game of chess. I'm gonna, what time is it? 3.56, I'm gonna figure out what my next move is, but I hope you enjoyed this one starting at Young and Dundas and then making my way west over into the Entertainment District and through the Toronto International Film Festival for the second time. Well, I guess third time if you include the live stream I did when I passed through on my e-scooter. out of tilt lock mode and we have made it to a much quieter University Avenue. Well, let me know your thoughts and comments down below and if you wish to support the channel there are links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership in the description and I have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides. All right thank you for watching and I will catch you on the next one.